Why the sign of Libra? Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So, the energy that I'm getting for this reading is that there's some someone you. This could be you, Libra, or this could be your person or someone coming towards you. Um, they'll be just holding on too tight. Could be to a situation, or it could be a person. Something they're just they just yeah, they just don't want to let go of. So let's get into the reading and take a look and see what's going on. So we got the Four of Pentacles for the present time, and it's with the Tower card. Now the Four of Pentacles. This card can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So it's a sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it points to anxiety, fear, could be about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So, it's paired with the Tower card. Now, the Tower card is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's important to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you have counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic, because change is the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, it would be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. But that's only a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable dreams, goals, if some of them, if some fantasies do fall apart this month. So keep in mind, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So, for the present time, Four of Pentacles in the Tower. Looks like there's a Tower moment coming up. Yeah, Tower moments. You're enlightened by some disaster. Something comes crashing down. If it's a relationship... And you absolutely know that you do not want it to come to an end. Uh, this will be the time for damage control. If this tower moment is referring to a relationship. Maybe it's not. But something comes crashing down. There's some unhealthy clinging here. So we need to take a look at the rest of the reading and see why this is happening. So we'll come back to these two. Once we get some clarity on the rest of the reading. So if you're dealing with someone, they see you like the Ace of Wands and the Death card. Now the Ace of Wands, it's about new beginnings, very positive ones. Uh, it's in the realm of accomplishments and are often related to work or career but it could go either way and if you're having a difficult time now just know that things are about to get better very soon because this one the one you see it burst into the clouds it's just not sitting there it burst really fast so things are about to get better very soon this card it depicts being upbeat optimistic hopeful about the future with a good cause so you'll be feeling quite energetic positive or you'll be feeling that way soon. This ace, it tells you that also now is a good time to start something new. So they see you like this ace of wands. They see you having a lot of passion for this connection, or a lot of passion for them. And you could possibly want a new beginning could be with them. Well, I'm saying could be because it's with a death card. Now, why is a death card here? Um, just to let you know about 
this very interesting looking card, the death card. It does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will. And such things, they're, they're absolutely not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change, point blank. So this is definitely a time of deep transformation. It could be both internally and externally in your life. Probably some situations, things, people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. So some people find the transition to be very difficult. Some people do. But just know that the change is nearly always needed. So they see you going through some deep transformation. So you've reached a conclusion maybe, finality. Maybe you're letting go of an old or outdated attitude. Some deep transformation, that's how they see you. But because of the Ace of Wands, they see you as um, very passionate. Could be about um, this change you're going through. Or they could see you as wanting a new beginning with them. Yeah, they see you experiencing some new beginnings. And that you have a lot of passion. Maybe for them or maybe about this change that you're going through. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them as the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician. Nine of Pentacles is about messages. It could be regarding money, finance. Because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's coins, cash, income. Yeah. So you're likely to receive some news that you've been waiting on. And it's good news with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, the Nine is a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your lives. So you probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things usually fall into place. Well, the night, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So you see this person is very steady, or they could want to come towards you steady and civil. Very stable. This Nine of Pentacles is... Um, Yeah, it's a very stable type. It's like a good father. So this is how you see them. This is how they want to come towards you. This is how you could be seeing them. Yeah. Now, because it's with the magician card, this looks like something that they manifest. They're manifesting. Yeah. Uh, you could also see them as, um, you might think that they're playing tricks with you, or they're being strategic with you. Now, you, I get two storylines. You could see them as having manifested this connection. That's what the magician does. The magician is all about action. And new beginnings and great expectations. The magician, yeah, you get new beginnings with this, with the magician. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world in, in any way that we can. Um, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because a magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Yep. Now just a side note for some single Libras that are out there listening. Because we got the magician here, I just want to let you know that when it comes to love questions... The magician also 
it, it's showing that right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. So whether or not you find this person is going to depend on you. So don't sit at home these days. Get out there. Yeah, get out there, single beavers. But anyway, back to how you see your person if you're dealing with someone. This person wants to come in very slow, steady, and stable. Or at least they want to show you that they're that way. Like I said, this is a it's a good type. It's type of that's good to marry. Yeah, this is how they want to come in. And um, you see them as um, either they manifest a disconnection or you, you could see them as... Um, being strategic and trying to trick you. So, like I said, there's two storylines here for how you see them. Now, why it's happening due to the Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. The Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career questions. It's good overall. It means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. They notice the quality of work that you do even if you don't get a paycheck. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not need to scrap something and then start again. You will not have to do that. So one of the reasons why it's happening, Three of Pentacles, someone, you or your person, offers great benefits. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles is about benefits. Um... Uh, who knows, maybe they got a good 401k, a good life insurance policy, a good lover, just great benefits, teamwork. So why it's happening, the chariot is showing a lot of energy with the chariot, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, it has a goal in mind, and when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card is about determination and ambition getting things done, testing, proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward. Move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. So, when it comes to love questions and you get the chariot, it's possible that you're tempted to go too far, too fast. And someone or, and or someone could be pressing you that way. So, we got something going really fast, and then we got something, someone with great benefits. Yeah, great, great benefits. We like that, don't we? So, let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So that uh, we'll see what's really going on here. Now that we know what the cards mean. So, for the present time, we talked about holding on too tight to a situation or to a person or to something and then there's a tower moment something comes crashing down your person they see you as wanting a new beginning and you're going through some type of deep change or you could just have a lot of passion for whatever change you're going through or deep passion for them and you see them as wanting to come in they want to talk to you they want to reach out they're ready to take things slow and steady and be civilized about it. But you can see them as um, trying to trick you. You might think that they're trying to trick you. But you also see that they offer benefits, which is a good thing. We all like benefits. Now, because the chariot is here, I'm picking up that your person, they want, it feels like they're rushing you. It's going to feel like they're rushing you. They want this to go fast. Yeah, so you might see them as, you might think they're trying to trick you into something. Yeah, I'm picking up, you don't trust this, this, this person coming in slow and steady. But they, but you see them coming in slow and steady as a magician. But they want, they want things to go fast. Like, what's the hurry, right? Yeah, like, hurry up. 
hurry, let's do this now. But you like that they offer benefits. And it could bring about new beginnings. But you're, you're going through the death process. You're going through deep change and transformation. So there's the tower moment here. Yeah, it looks like your person that's coming in, they're going to keep trying to make this go fast. So you're just going to keep... You're just going to keep seeing them as a trickster. Yeah, because they keep wanting it to be rushed. Everything. Let's do this right now. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. So you're not going to take them serious. But you see them coming in slow and stable and civil. But it's throwing you off because they want everything to be so fast. Can we do this now? Hurry up, rush, rush. They offer benefits. Then there's a tower moment. Because you're not trusting this rush, rush. So it looks like you end up clinging on to what you have. You're just going to cling on to you and your money, maybe. And whatever makes you feel secure, you're clinging on to it. Because this person, you don't know. You don't know why they want everything to go so fast. Yeah. So, being that they offer benefits, you could decide to just hold on to the benefits that they offer. Hold on to that real tight. But, I don't know, it just depends on how how greedy how greedy some of you could be. You could be thinking of the benefits only. And you'll try to cling on to their benefits really, really, really tight. Or what I'm really picking up is that you're going to cling on to whatever makes you feel secure. Because you're not trusting why they want everything to go so fast. And you feel like they're tricking you as a magician. Magician. Magician.